and we live and basically today i'm going to be talking about one of the ways one of the fastest and easiest ways to add actions to your gpts for some of you that may not know what gpts are these are special chat gpts that you can create in chat gpt obviously i created a video specifically talking about it you can check the description or somewhere around this video something should pop up so without further ado let's get started on this so how we want to do this is we want to go to explore over here right and you're going to see this as you're seeing and we're going to go directly to create a gpt so under create a gpt you would see something like this we're going to go directly to configure because we're not really talking about how to create one we're talking about how to add actions right and over here you're going to see the usual the name the description and the instructions right so for the name this is going to be called message to G to events because i want to create an action that would automatically create events in my google calendar right and i'm going to be using a tool called zapier so from chat gpt if you message the bot which is the gpt on um, as an event it will automatically create an event in my google calendar all from here that's the action that we're trying to create so we're going to use message to event the description the description we're going to say paste in text and get the events put into google calendar like i explained you paste in the text and get events put into calendar right for the image i'm just going to create and use dali and it will generate an image for me here in a second yeah as you can see over here so i'm just going to go with this for now right so what we want to do now is the instructions area right because over here I said what does this gpt do how does it behave and what should it avoid doing this is the important section right and this is where we're going to add begin adding the instructions so i'm going to copy and paste one event one instruction now and here you have it let me make this larger as you can see so yeah it's just something i drafted up um there you can see anytime messages emails or direct messages are put in you need to help me do a couple of things firstly provide a summary of the message next check thoroughly if there is a task or event involved in the message and if there is not then just say okay if there is lay out the event in the following format and here you can see event title event details event date event time basically it's just saying that once the messages are put in the bots or the gpt it should just help organize the um the details in this particular format and there you have it okay so that's this john custom instructions for now right and want to scroll down right obviously you want to make sure all these are turned on right very very important so as you can see here under actions right here you click on create new action and it's going to take you over here so authentication just so leave this here for now and we move over to schema so here is the important part this schema area so we go over here and you can see you would see this particular part so we want to go over to this import from url right and here we open the first tab i'm going to put the links of these two tabs i'm going to open in a bit in the description so you can follow through it right so the first one i'm going to move over to is get started um zapier as you can see it's ai actions right and you want to scroll down a bit to over here where it says get started copy this special url to your clipboard so i'm going to copy this over here then go over to this page this part remember where i said put in url then paste it and click on import it's going to import this long series of code for you and if you see this you're on the right path okay so just stay with me immediately as you've done that at the bottom you see privacy policy now under this privacy policy you don't need to do anything um, because we're trying to create this one for internally right like personally but if it's going to be distributed publicly if you're going to make this gpt available publicly then you're going to need to have a privacy policy but since this is for the internal for you this is not necessary okay so once you've done this so once you've done this you move over to the other tab that says zapier ai actions again the link is going to be in the description before you get here once you click that link most likely it's going to tell you to create an account or sign into your zapier account so make sure you do that first right after you've logged into your zapier or you've created an account and logged into your zapier then click the link again it's going to take you to this particular page right with your email over here so you're going to say open ai wants to access access your zapier account for ai actions you click on allow so it's going to take it over here so now some may see an error message or some might take it to chat gpt um what's it called back to chat gpt all you just have to do is we open the link okay so that's the link that has the actions.zapier.com you want to just paste it again in a new tab or in the same tab right it did that for me so i had to reload it a couple of times but just in case it may not but just in case so it's going to take you over here right and i'm going to click on add a new action and over here is going to have set up your gpt in action so on the actions here i'm going to click i'm going to search for google calendar and it's going to bring out a list for you right so you can select any option what we want to do is we're trying to do this um 
briefly i'm going to select google calendar quick ad events so once you've selected that it's going to bring up this so it's going to say do you want to connect it to your google account definitely so it's going to say allow access to your google account yes continue to your google calendar accept so once you've selected your email you click on allow these are just the basics to make sure it's integrated properly so now that we've done that right we can just click on refresh and now that we've done that our email is connected right so once you add that you would want to so once you add that it's going to pop all this out for you right because your email address is here google calendar describe events so over here it's going to ask calendar yeah i guess uh set a specific uh value for this field so i'm going to click on set a specific value for this field calendar you must be able to add the calendar uh so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to select my email address again it might be whatever part of your calendar that you have i'm just going to select the default for now then it's going to say describe events so over here i can say set a specific value and i'm going to describe the event over here i'm going to use the the name that we used remember right i'm going to click on it so i'm going to click on it and put um create events from messages with gpt okay check out all options attend this action name is going to be the same thing um uh, going to be the same thing so i'm going to say create events for messages with gpt okay um uh, for so for describe events i mean it's not necessary i can have ai guess the value for this field and this is important right the action name is very important so you want to make sure you take note of that and yeah i'm just going to go over to enable action so over here you see you saved your same gpt actions is already selected and as if you want to add new ones you can create new ones over here so right now we're going to go back to the other tab right the link the first link the get started link if you remember we're going to go back to it over here ai actions so this was the first one we created right so you want to scroll down to the second part that has rules and you want to copy the entirety of it no just copy the entirety of this right then go back to chat gpt over here we we'll go back and we go over to the custom instructions part over here we go down a bit and click on Control V, uh, whatever it is to paste, right? So once you have that, the first thing we want to first erase this first, um, this second one because it's just one that we're creating for now, right? And the confirmation link, we want to erase this confirmation link. I want to erase this action name, right? So for the confirmation, <laughs> I said confirmation. For the configuration link, right? We're going to go back to our Zapier, click on this. So once it's been selected, you're going to want to make sure you copy this link, right? Then move over to, remember, we got over here be, by clicking on the um, action that we just created on Zapier, right? So we move over to ChatGPT, and under this configuration link, we paste it over here, right? Then for the action, it's just going to be our action name, right? The name that we put, let me go back to that, which is over here. And we put it over here. Remember, create events for messages with chat GPT. And this is very important. So once we have this pasted, we can close this, right? To so just one last check in to make sure everything is good. Over here, we have our actions. Yes, everything is fine. Then we move over here to save. And over at save, remember, it's only me. I will click on confirm. So once we have that set up, right? We can then, we can now test the GPT, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um pasting a fictional email and maybe I'll, I'll probably say from john right so i'm going to paste in just give me a second i'm going to paste in a fictional email and let's test it out don't see so over here as you can see the tower of this message finds you in good spirit your insights so there is a an event that is happening right and let's see if this works so as you can see, it's bringing out summary. John expresses his uh, eagerness to hear about Taiwo's recent activities. And here's an event involved in the message. Event tied to coffee meeting with John. Event details, a casual meeting to catch up and exchange ideas. Event date, December 20th. And event time, 3 p.m. Now I'll check if the necessary Zapier and AI actions are available to assist with the task. Please wait a moment. So now I'm going to click on add this to my Google Calendar. And let's see whether it will bring it up. So as you can see, it says you should sign in with actions.zapier.com because it needs to verify again. So I'll click on this and I'll allow. So once that's done, you can see, you see you have successfully signed in via alt over here at the top, you can see. So now what we want to do is we're going to reload this. Oh, oh rather right, starting action. Okay. So it's going to say message to event, message to event, wants to talk to action.zapier. So you allow, I'm going to click on always allow for actions.zapier. So here's this message. It says, yes, check the available Zapier and 
uh it's available for use so it's going to proceed to create the event on google calendar so this is it. it's showing all this because it's just the first time okay over time it's going to skip all those requests and it's just going to go directly to this yes so here it is as you can see the event has been created and if i click on this link over here it's going to take me to the google event to show it in a bit as you can see over here here's the event coffee meeting with john so quick just a very very quick um tip that i want to add right i encountered a couple issues on the week doing this and uh, just wanted to mention as you can see it should ever talk into and when i replied um to continue i'll adjust the parameters would you like me to attempt it over here so what i would suggest again i'm going to put this in the description so you can just copy it and paste it right i'm going to suggest because uh it's kind of like you got to make sure the format is right. So over here, you can see event tied to event details, event dates and the likes. I'm going to suggest that event dates, right, should be above the event uh, time and details, right? So no worry, I'm going to put it in this description. Just use that in the description because I think there was a little bit of hiccup with the format over here. But regardless, we've been able to create the event. I know this is a little bit on the technical side, so you could watch the video a couple times to make sure you get the flow right. And uh, I hope you really find this useful. This is just one out of the thousands of ways you can use Zapier to integrate GPT and, you know, make you more effective and efficient. I'm going to create simpler videos in the future, hopefully. But uh, with this, I hope you found this useful and not too technical. And please like, subscribe, and uh, let me know your thoughts. Cheers.